Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday. My name is Ed Lozano, Western Sales Engineer here at LiveView, and we'd like to welcome you to uh, once again one of our uh, exciting product shows where we talk about our new products and give you tips and information on how to use these products that you have uh, within your arsenal and that you may use day in and day out. And today we're really excited to talk about a new product that we actually introduced at NAB this past year in April, um, Live View Studio. And it is just something that uh, is just going to change the way you use your field encoders and the way you do production. And without uh, further ado, I'm, I'm not going to butcher his last name because I tried it earlier, but I, we'll just introduce my colleague, my good friend here, Michael D., to show us everything about Live View Studio. And, and of course, if you have a question, uh, my colleague Joyce is here, um, and she will field all the questions. We want this to be interactive uh, with everybody, but, um, you know, please uh, send us an email if you want, and um, just let us know, you know, uh, what questions you want to ask. You know, hit the Q&A link in Zoom there, or email us at techtuesday at liveview.tv. But without further ado, Michael, take it away, my friend. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Ed. Uh, so I'm, I'm very glad to uh, show you and talk about the Live View Studio, the newest pro product you know, uh, that comes to complete the uh, uh, solution uh, at Live View. Um, so we are on the production side. Uh, it, it, it is very important to understand, first of all, that this is a 100% cloud native solution uh, for live switching and the multicasting from your web browser. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, you're going to see my web browser and everything I'm going to do today will be from my web browser. So my computer is simply uh, you know, uh, being a, a, a remote controller, basically. So you should be able to see it now. Is that is that the correct screen? I hope so. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So welcome into the Live View uh, Studio. And so um, I'd like to uh, show you a couple of key uh, elements uh, from the UI uh, so that you understand better. You know uh, the demo. So at the top here, uh, we can see uh, horizontally three stages, one setting up, two testing, and we see a clock ticking, and three publishing. So, uh, so I want to explain that this is, uh, again, 100% cloud native solution. So those are the three stages we need to go through uh, because everything is cloud based. So it will be you know, processed and mixed in the cloud for me. And it is right now, as of now, because I already started uh, the testing phase uh, before uh, we started this Tech Tuesday, and so uh, and so right now I get both preview and program as you can see uh, because the server is providing me with video feedbacks uh, uh, from both preview and program, and so it's it's because I am already in testing mode at setting up stage I wouldn't see anything you know because the cloud compute would not be there, uh, and uh, so those are the two uh, first elements. So the, 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 this is the three stages from the cloud compute, preview and program. And then the third region or the third uh, 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 yeah, um, area that is very important is down below preview and program. We have you know, all our tools, vertical bar here. This is the toolbar. And I am currently on the production tool, which is basically the visual mixer. So you can see several elements here. So I will explain you very briefly uh, what, what are we looking at currently. So we are looking at two layers, as you can see, one layer at the top with the lower thirds. So I'm leveraging my uh, built-in lower third system. And uh, just to show you how easy it is, you know, I can just remove my lower thirds by clicking there and adding them back just by activating them back. So that is how easy it becomes, you know, but just clicking uh, on the layer that we need. And those two elements, as you can see, there is a, a, a down below other element. This is my Live View Studio uh, bouncing logo. Uh, so those are two elements that I'm displaying currently or mixing currently in, on the server. And so the, this mix happens live. And this is how you can create nice uh, 
um, compositions with several layers, obviously. And so uh, we have both elements uh, displayed at the same time. And for this uh, demo, I will keep the auto apply between preview and program. So every time I'm going to change something in my preview, it's going to apply automatically into my program. Obviously, you can disable it and just preview first and then push the program. But uh, today, I'll just uh, you know keep that automatic because I know the show uh, by heart. So uh, today I will uh, just make sure that you understand this is a collaborative environment. I am in my web browser, so uh, it's just as if we were uh, in Office uh, 365 or, or Google you know uh, tools. It is collaborative in a sense because uh, but this is for uh, live production obviously. So we could have up to, you know, uh, several people here, only five are, 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 are on the picture, but we could be even more people together working into the same production. So right now I am alone in this uh, cloud studio, but we could have, you know, several other people joining me and we would see some uh, bubbles with the names, you know, of the people that are joining me and we could all work together as a team. And it doesn't matter where they are sitting in the world, as long as they have a computer and an internet connection. And I obviously I need to grant them access. So this is just to illustrate how you know collaborative this environment is, and then uh, you know everyone has access to everything at the same time. So and we are working in real time. So uh, if I need to take a break for a few minutes, I could hi ask him, for instance, you know from Europe, please take it over and switch for me uh, while I'm on a break. So um, and then the second thing is the multicasting. So I mentioned you know live switching in a collaborative environment, but also multicasting. So we can uh, multi-stream uh, the program out here to multiple destinations. I illustrated just a few elements, RTMP for, uh, you know, custom destinations like uh, CDNs, so Vimeo, Dacas, Wowza, name them, or uh, YouTube, Facebook, just to illustrate the uh, different, uh, you know, social platforms. But speaking about multicast, you know, there is not only that, obviously, uh, we can go up to 30 destinations, three, zero, 30 destinations at the same time. And we can go, you know, to anywhere literally in, in many, many protocols, obviously. Uh, so I, I will, uh, yeah, I will probably extend on that later. But for now, let's go, uh, uh, you know, back on the live switching. So as you can see here, uh, we have two live sources coming from two different live view units. Uh, I will have my uh, first uh, camera, which is a LU800 that is pushing in LRT directly into studio. And so uh, this uh, allows me, you know, uh, to get the feed uh, directly from the live view unit. So I don't need, you know, physical server uh, here at my house or anywhere, you know, because the Live View Studio will provide me with cloud Live View channels. It is built in, you know, into Studio. And so if I only need to manage, you know, my and, and, and produce in the cloud, this is perfect. Then I only need, I only need the uh, Live View units, the field units, and the Live View Studio, and boom, I can switch, you know, with multiple cameras. And here is a second Live View unit, which is actually my Live View Smart app installed and you can see live outside Montreal. This is live from outside from my window uh, here. So we can see, uh, yeah, somebody jogging uh, currently, you know, on the street. And so, um, yeah, and so I can switch back and forth, you know, between camera one, camera two. Uh, and so uh, you see it's as easy as just clicking a button here. I have a few hotkeys, uh, so triggers or, 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 or shortcuts, if you mean. Uh, and uh, those shortcuts are either triggered by me uh, clicking literally with the mouse, you know, on these buttons. And so I saved, you know, uh, into my workflow that I wanted to switch between camera one and camera two or on my keyboard. And I hope you can see uh, my camera here. I have also an Elgato Stream Deck, uh, which is also a very convenient. For instance, if I want to push my two up button, you will see that it is uh, triggering a two box template and then uh, and then so I can add lower thirds 
So this is the same built-in lower thirds system that I'm using. You can see that it turned blue here uh, because I, I fired them and then I can remove them uh, very, very easily. And then I can even animate, you know, I have some animation. So if I want to zoom on one camera, unzoom and put the second one and then zoom on the second camera, the system handles all those transitions for me uh, so that it looks nice, obviously. And if I have uh, even a stinger, you know, an animated uh, a stinger, so it could be an animated PNG or a .mv file. So I'm going to scroll up just a little bit to show you the magic here. I can even have more layers, as you can see. So the logo, you may have wondered where it come from. Yeah, so it does come from here. Uh, this is another layer on top. And so here I have .mv file. You will see I am triggering it now with the stinger. You will see it turns blue. It plays the animation. Then I'm able, you know, to switch to something else, and it creates this very, very neat animation, just like on TV, basically. But everything is, you know, triggered from my web browser, and I'm not even processing the show on my computer, uh, as you understand. I'm only watching few video feedbacks here. And so um, let's pretend now we have a break, you know, uh, from our show. So uh, we may go into, you know, uh, some uh, sponsors, ads, and or uh, just uh, highlights from previous shows, etc. So I have here a playlist. I just uploaded a few uh, pre-recorded content, as you can see. Those are my pre-recorded content that I uploaded before the show. And uh, I'm going to let these, you know, play and push that to a program. And here uh, we can see that the system plays out those videos from the cloud. So uh, my computer is not streaming those those files. OK, I already uploaded them into the environment, into the cloud environment. And you will see after four seconds from now, it's going to switch automatically to the next file and et cetera, et cetera. So I chose on purpose two very short first clips so that you can see that my hands are up and I don't do nothing and it still, you know, uh, switches automatically. So this is the right time, you know, for me to take a sip of water because I don't have anything else to do. It's fully automated from now on until I say, you know, I want to go back to the actual live feeds. So you see, again, another live, uh, another uh, pre-recorded content video has just started automatically. And now we could, you know, uh, switch back, you know, we could decide, okay, let's, let's go back into our live event and we could show this view or that view, you know, and this is perfect. So, uh, this is uh, how easy it becomes, you know, uh, to do live switching uh, from the web browser. Um, another thing that uh, could be very important to show is the uh, different inputs that we can handle, you know. So here I will show you very briefly. I am using currently live view units, as you see. So we are definitely LRT in our DNA and uh, we can handle, you know, pull uh, different live feeds from different protocols. If you already have some servers there that have, uh, you know, some uh, live feeds and uh, we can even push some RTMP and or SRT, you know, obviously from live view receivers, but also from other uh, software, third party and hardware encoders, obviously. So uh, this is very uh, important to understand that you can mix those protocols together into the same environment. Uh, the, the Live View Studio will handle them all for you. And uh, you have up to eight uh, live sources that you can mix in your uh, visual mixer. And the uh, last uh, live source that I'd like to mention is this remote capture. So I am using it here, for instance, uh, as the remote commentator, for instance. So uh, this, you can share that link, you know, it's a unique link per guest and uh, you can share it by email or by text. And so I'm gonna just start it just for you to see the journey uh, as a remote guest. So uh, here I have a second webcam on the side just for me to, to be using, you know, uh, the one in on Zoom and plus here. And uh, as you can see, my computer detected automatically my webcam, my microphone. And so uh, I don't need to be very tech 
uh, tech savvy you know i only need to understand okay i can i can you know click on the button and here is the preview or all the minute video and audio feedbacks that i'm receiving from the production and uh so i will go back into my uh control room so here is the view from the production and i can see that the video from my guest is coming in here as you can see and so i could be switching to this one you know live in full screen here and so uh let's let's see what happens uh in my uh you know uh remote guest perspective it tells me you are on air currently so be careful yeah i i shouldn't say anything anything bad uh, because i am currently on air and so uh this is uh could be you know uh, a way of bringing up you know a live uh, a remote guest that has only a computer or a smartphone and nothing else and then uh, obviously we can do some remote commentary without uh, showing necessarily the video of this remote guest on on screen and so we have here the audio mixer i will introduce that to you now because uh i want you to understand that uh currently audio follows video so we have the audio from this first camera that goes the embedded audio that goes into the program and i have made sure that when i click on eight for remote commentary both audio from to co-host a potential co-host and michael is there uh, michael is connected you can see my voice uh, going up and down so my voice is also mixed uh, into this uh, program because i said so you know I've, i i've i've saved that my audio would go through so let's go back into my intro uh, slide just for you to see the difference right now as you can see uh, this STO1, STO2 plus Michael audios are coming in into the system. We can literally see the levels coming in, but my program is completely silenced because there is nothing on program currently. So if I go back to my remote commentary, all of a sudden you can see the program going up and down because uh, I have up to three you know, uh, inputs that are mixed uh, into the, the the program and here I can even do picture on picture in picture mode you see so I have my second camera webcam that is mixed in real time on top of the program all right so I hope uh you uh you enjoyed that and uh I just want to mention that you can scale you remember those five people uh that we saw earlier uh they were all in in the same environment in one virtualized control room now they could be split you know into three different projects for instance so project a those two people they could be covering a sports show uh this guy uh could be covering a, a, a breaking news you know uh, any anything that has happening in north europe and then those two people could be covering a press conference and so uh it is as easy as just clicking one button to start a new project in live view studio and so you could have you know uh multiple uh projects running at the same time and so and you could distribute and, ass and, ass and assign different people uh into those different projects all right so i believe i went through you know uh many many things and uh yeah and the publishing tool like i said you know you can multicast uh to multiple destinations it is very simple very visual you know to tell okay i want this format that quality to these destinations or destinations and so i can show you very quickly this is how you assign things you know you can log in with your social platforms or you can you know assign an lrt out back to a receiver to get sdi ndi out you know uh or uh you can you know push an hls srt uh, with etc etc and you have 30 destinations any questions so far? So, Michael, we have a few in the chat. I'll um, yes. I'll go down the line. Um, can we have multiple users collaborating in this production simultaneously? For example, one person runs graphics, another runs audio, and another switches via their browser. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so this is exactly the collaboration that I was talking about. So. Uh, those people, they could be all together at the same time into the same virtualized uh, control room. And so uh, then it is up to the team, you know, to assign different roles uh, because everyone will have access to everything. And so uh, then uh, you can have, you know, one person 
you know, literally working on the audio mixer only uh, without interfering, you know, with the rest or uh, the, the TD, you know, here focusing on the switching, et cetera, et cetera. And for the graphics, yeah, I didn't mention it, uh, but you could use an external graphics system. So uh, thank you for that question. Uh, here I have an example of display, which is uh, a, an HTML5 uh, graphic uh, tool. And so uh, you could have a dedicated operator on that tool. And display is only an example of them. So here uh, we have, you know, uh, some other examples, single live, uh, flowy, extreme elements. Those, this list is not, you know, it's not the, the full list. It's just examples of any HTML5 tools, uh, graphic tools that are, that are on the market. I've heard about Tagboard. Uh, I know that some of our clients are using it. So, but this is a display example. So this content comes from display and it's just an HTML overlay. So, yeah. So I hope that answers this question. Okay, then the next question, I'm gonna just jump down and then we'll go back to Alex's question. Does this work with a stream deck? That is correct. Yeah, so uh, do you see my camera, my webcam now? Uh, so I, do you see my camera, Joyce? Yeah. Yes, I do. Speak? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So this is this is uh, my Elgato Stream Deck that I have connected to my uh, connect to my uh, computer. And as you can see, I have tied a couple hotkeys. And so if I go back to my intro, I simply need to click on this button, and you see that the server reacted on this click because it went to my uh, to my intro slide. And if I click on collaboration, uh, it is going to and switching to my collaboration uh, live uh, or graphic. So I hope that answers the question. Yes, so it works, definitely. Okay, just, just a few more and then we'll let you keep going. Um, how does Studio work with live view field encoders and decoders and servers? Yeah, so uh, currently I'm using uh, two live view fields, uh, so units, and here is one example of it. So uh, as you can see, uh, I can select uh, which unit I want to connect uh, on this uh, Live View channel. And this Live View channel has been uh, so assigned by Live View Studio directly. And so I can, I can control my Live View unit directly from uh, Live View Studio. I can also do it uh, from the unit itself, as well as Live View Central. I believe uh, a lot of people you know, uh, know what Live View Central is. And so here I have the same controls. As you can see, uh, this unit is streaming currently to STO2, which is uh, this, uh, this channel here. So you can, you can do that. So it's, it's very simple. And so uh, the decoder, basically, it's the live view channel, the cloud live view channel that is directly provided by uh, live view studio. If you don't need any SDI out you know, uh, from these uh, feeds, this is perfect for you because then you don't need to purchase or rent a live view physical receiver. But if you do have a physical receiver already and you need to use it first and then send the feeds into studio, no worries. Uh, your workflow is also covered because then you can go out in SRT from your physical receiver and go SRT to live view studio. And that, at that stage, you could use both. SDI out or NDI out from the physical server, plus you could be pushing the same feed into Live View Studio. Great, thank you. Okay, so Jeff, just to answer your second question in the chat, we will send out a recording. We'll send out a thank you with a slightly edited version, just cutting off the beginning, the little banter that we did. Um, so that'll be available most likely tomorrow. But Jeff's first question is, um, I work st on streaming shows on YouTube and Twitch. What about showing on-screen comments and reactions of the people? What about if I want to show in-screen comments coming from three different social media platforms? Is that possible? Yes, it is. Uh, we have built-in uh, comments, connections. Uh, when you're publishing uh, through uh, native integration, meaning you, know, you need to connect through Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, et cetera, directly, so uh, remote uh, custom RTMP will not do it, but uh, with, with an admin you know, uh, uh, connection, so native integration with the uh, social platforms, you will be able to watch into the chat 
those uh, those different comments coming from different social platforms, and and there will be a button on top of each comment to display it as a lower third. So then you can display uh, any comments coming from any of those social platforms that we have built in native integration, and you will be able to do it directly from Studio. Um, and if you need, you know, um, even further, uh, further, uh, uh, yeah, more more advanced. Uh, so with with uh, more advanced features with the uh, comments and so on, then I would recommend you know using something like display, single lot live, live etc. Because they have you know higher uh, advanced features. So those are HTML5 uh, more complex advanced graphics tools. Michael, I think uh, one thing to note here is you're not using any special hardware there outside of the Stream Deck. It's just your laptop there, correct? Yeah, that is correct. This is just a very little laptop, not nothing fancy. I can't even play any video games on this laptop. So uh, again, it's uh, it's not a powerful laptop. And as you can see, I'm able to pull it off, even sharing my screen on Zoom, remember. So uh, this is also taking a lot of resources on my computer. And despite that all, uh, you know, I was able to join the remote guests. I was able, you know, I'm able to share my screen and and also uh, uh, switch the the, the 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 show. So, Michael, I did have a question that came through on email a little bit earlier. So, if you have a moment, I'm ready for that one, which came from Jeff Zotz um, out of Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas. Um, the only question I have for today's afternoon webinar is: Can the four channels on an LU800 pack be split inside Studio? Yes, so this is a very good question. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, so here into studio, uh, it will be so four uh, live view channels, uh, if you want to go direct, okay, from the unit uh, into studio, and you have up to eight available. So this is no worries. So you can use four of them, for instance. And once you have added those four, you go uh, on your live view 800 unit, make sure that you have the custom channels uh, uh, feature activated on it, and I believe this requires, uh, you know, the latest version, uh, version 10, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, and if you have that, then you will be able to send each, uh, each camera feed to each of those uh, four uh, channels. And then, so your LU800 full camera will be, you know, into studio, and then you can live switch your full cameras directly from studio. I hope that explains it all. Michael, I've got a question from uh, customers. What about recording of uh, your shows? W what happens with those? What does uh, Live View Studio do with that? Yes, I didn't mention it. So thank you for that question. Here, I am only in testing mode. Uh, but obviously, if I push to publishing, so I will start the publishing just for you to see, uh, is actually recording as well. So here, I will go into my uh, publishing side. And as you can see here at the top, no matter what you do, no matter how much, how many uh, destinations you're selecting, you will have at the highest format, highest quality, you're recording first. So right now, I'm only producing in 720p, 30 FPS, but I could have been done, you know, in 1080p, 60 FPS, for instance, at eight megabits or whatever. And uh, if you follow the arrows, you're going to see that there is a recording. So right now it is recording my program output. And this is the only recording I got uh, So as a backup. And here in the recording section or in the tool recordings, you can see that my main backup has been going on for uh, the last uh, 48 seconds. And it's a growing file. So it's going to grow until I stop or I end my uh, uh, server or for the next 12 hours if I forget to stop it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the that's that's about it. So yes, it does record the program output as a backup. Hey, um, Joyce, I think we've got one in the uh, yeah, Q&A. That's our friend Mark yep. Foley writes for Production Hub and, and another um, and his own production um, blog. But Mark asks, you mentioned preloading content. Can you decide you need to cut in a two minute commercial you have sitting on your laptop live? So, yeah, so, OK, uh, I believe I understand. So if you haven't preloaded your uh, your um, 
video. So it means that you 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 forgot or you didn't know you had to upload the file in the first place. I believe this is what he meant. So you can do two things: is e either you are uploading the file, you know, on the fly, no problem. You can do that, okay? Uh, it's just that you need to have the time, obviously, to upload the file first. So if you do have that chance to do it, please do it because then the server will play out the video instead of your local computer, which is always the best. Uh, this is my uh, best recommendation for you. So you can go into media, you know, into your playlist and add and then upload uh, the new file. Okay, so that's that's my best shot uh, for that. Having said that, if you don't have the chance, uh, you know, because you don't have the time, uh, no worries. You can always add an input here and uh, you could use, you know, a capture video device or, you know, or, or screen capture, you know, and so then you could play your, your local file on your computer and basically screen share it into studio. It's not ideal, obviously, okay? Screen share for a video is not what I would recommend at all, okay? Never. Uh, but this is a quick fix, you know, if you have something that is not uh, scheduled. And uh, yeah, and if you have an encoder somewhere, you know, more high-end encoder instead of screen sharing, this is always best, you know, to use an encoder and play that video from any player system, obviously. Okay. So, but I took into consideration that you may not have any, you know, encoders available at that stage. So, so I hope that answers your question. Michael, what about uh, customers that want to find out more information or actually want to demo uh, Live View Studio? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so please uh, ask uh, our sales uh, representative for, for a demo. Uh, our website is liveview.tv slash studio. Uh, you, can, you can learn more uh, on this website. And uh, we have also uh, a big knowledge base uh, on publicly available. So you can find it, you know, uh, and uh, you can read, you know, about how to start and uh, you know, anything, the free trial, say how it works. Uh, we are offering, you know, two weeks by default uh, so that you can uh, test your reality workflow. So you can really, really build your own workflows, uh, learn from us, obviously, because we have a uh, an onboarding session together with an expert and uh, you can learn uh, what you need, you know, for uh, these two weeks. And so that, uh, you know, it's tailored basically to your reality. And then you can learn more about the core concepts, you know, the layers that I mentioned, each settings, you know, the audio mixer, the auto apply I mentioned, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you can read, you know, and, and, and learn from that because uh, everything is clearly, you know, documented with uh, very nice, uh, you know, screenshots uh, that explains it all basically, step by step. Okay. Yeah, and as Michael mentioned, definitely reach out to your sales representative because they will get you the the latest information um, as it relates to Live View Studio. Your sales engineers are another great resource as well. Uh, but you know, this is definitely an exciting uh, tool. Um, and it looks like we got one more uh, question just coming in here, Joyce. Okay, this one comes in from Jonathan. On the last screen, I did not see SMPTE 2110 in the options to import a live source. Can Studio integrate 2110 with other with older protocols? We don't integrate with that yet. Uh, it is definitely uh, on our roadmap, uh, but we don't we don't support this at the moment. Yeah, just like that, uh, Michael. There, it's protocols like that. And then there's a lot of other exciting things on the roadmap down the road here with the uh, studio here. That is correct. Yes. So uh, at the moment, yeah, we do, we do integrate within uh, as the ingest, you know, with LRT, RTMB and SRT, you can push, you know, so SRT as an, uh, as a caller mode and, or uh, you can pull all of those protocols. So you can pull it in. So this is more listener mode uh, for SRT, for instance. And so you have to have a server somewhere that is hosting those live feeds, and then we can read them, you know, with the URL. And so, so that's that's what we can ingest as live feeds, as main of the live feeds. Then the remote guest is for people that are joining in, you know, uh, from a computer 
uh, or a smartphone, but they don't have any specific hardware, as well as uh, if you are, you know, uh, from from the from the studio and you want to also share either your uh, camera webcam, you know, directly connected. So it's not a remote guest. You're like a you like a, a local contributor from the studio, basically. Um, and then we can so have video and playlists, and then graphics, you know, as images, animated images, text, and HTML5. Uh, so uh, graphics, uh, as I mentioned before, and the templates. Yeah, I didn't I didn't go into much uh, of the templates, but uh, this is what I'm literally leveraging here. You know, for instance, here I have a two box template, and uh, I just want to mention this is very easy. You know, to select what I want in that template. Basically, I want a two box. I assigned you know STO one to the left, S uh, STO two to the right. And then I choose, you know, the template. If I want a template with uh, different things, you know, like with four box, I could do that and then assign, you know, each box, you know, and tell, oh, maybe I want uh, the host here and I want uh, Maria here. And then I create a full box, you know, very, as, as easy as that, you see. So very, very simple. And then I can save that, you know, as a full box and assign uh, into, uh, into a hotkey, and that's what I did here. For instance, I saved this shot, and boom, I got it into uh, into a hotkey. I don't know. That's a good-looking guy there in box three, there, Michael. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Would, uh, any other questions here for Michael? Um, you know, definitely a wealth of knowledge when on Live View Studio and all things streaming. Uh, Michael is our go-to here. Um, you know. Uh, so you've got them now. Um, please uh, ask your questions here. And if and if you have a question maybe later on, you can always email the team, uh, techtuesday at liveview.tv, and uh, we will definitely get back to you. And also use that email. If, you, if there's something that you want to see, a product, uh, a little bit deep, more of a deeper dive into something that uh, – you're doing with your workflow and you want us to take a look at that and do a tech Tuesday on that. Uh, we want to hear from you. Uh, tech Tuesday at live TV is uh, the place to email us and reach, reach out to us. At. And as Joyce mentioned in the chat, we do have another uh, session today at four o'clock. Michael will be doing uh, his presentation again live. Uh, so if you have colleagues that are maybe working the afternoon shift and you want them to see this, you know um, we will be doing it uh uh, again, at four o'clock Eastern, the link is there in the uh, chat. Please sign up. It, uh, like I said, Michael, just he just rocks it here with these demos. So uh, we really appreciate him. And we're looking forward to another one today at four o'clock Eastern. So thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for joining. We'll see you all a little bit later on today. And we'll see you all next month for the next Tech Tuesday. Thanks, y'all. Expanding your viewership and growing your digital channels is crucial to any business. But producing impactful and engaging live content at scale within shrinking budgets has been almost impossible. Until now. Introducing LiveView Studio. LiveView Studio is a 100% cloud native live video production solution, enabling live switching, customizable overlays and graphics, and allows for one click multi destination streaming all from your browser. Grow your fan experience with digital talk shows, breaking news coverage, press conferences, field interviews, you name it. LiveView Studio allows for decentralized collaboration, meaning your talent and crew can be in different locations around the world working on joint projects or different ones, all while expanding your brand presence with secondary and shoulder content. And with LiveView Studio's easy to use layering system, you can add your brand's logo, custom graphics, or lower thirds within seconds, and have configurable fallback sources to help keep your production on track under any circumstance. With LiveView Reliable Transport at its core, LiveView Studio allows you to bring remote guests into your production with ultra low latency and crisp video quality in one click. And once your content is ready, distribution has never been easier. The multi-destination feature can send it out to up to 30 channels simultaneously. And you can produce multi-language broadcasts, getting your digital content in front of more eyes faster than ever before. Easily spin up a production on demand, 
open new monetization and sponsorship possibilities, and distribute to multiple channels, all from your browser. LiveView Studio. Expand your viewership with an elevated digital experience.